know, nobody really knows what we're doing when we start off. And so I didn't really know that we'd be 600 episodes in this, this later on. And, and, uh, you know, we'd have over a hundred thousand downloads and all these things and get sponsorships and opportunities and business partnerships and everything that it's done for me and clients and friends and Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business, or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. Hi, everybody. Welcome. This is Austin Linney. So what I'm going to start doing from time to time is these solo episodes. Maybe we're going to talk about a lesson. Maybe we're going to talk about something that's on my mind. Maybe I'm going to tell a story. I don't know how long they're going to go. Sometimes they're going to be five minutes. Sometimes it'll be 30, 15, 20. I don't really know. But uh, I'm excited about this new format. Um, what I'm going to talk today about, I was, I was talking to somebody the other day, and I, I never really talked about how the podcast started and why it started and kind of the behind the scenes kind of, uh, you know, situations, right. As we come up on, you know, as I'm recording this somewhere around 600 episodes. Um, so, you know, when you, when you listen to podcasts, like I have, right. You know, you, you think about, um, you know, my favorites, Ed Milet, Rob Deerdick, you know, all these business podcasts that I listen to, um, and you're like, man, I could never do that, right? Like, like, why would? First of all, there's there's two <laughs> overall factors that go on 24 seven, right? Which is, I can't get guests. That's number one. And the second is, why would anybody listen to me, <laughs> right? Those are the two like crazy limiting beliefs that that frankly never go away. Um, so that's the first mountain that you're facing, right? When you're thinking about doing a podcast. Um, and so, uh, you know, I've been thinking about it for a couple of years. Um, I went to my first conference ever, my first real estate conference uh, that was in Breckenridge. It was best conference ever. This was before COVID, uh, like actually like right before it, um, like almost like a week or two. Um, and um, there was like 700 to 800 people there. And there was a room and then there was the networking area, which was around the room. And there was booths out there, and there was vendors, and so Evan Holiday and this guy named Tyler Chesser was there, and they both had podcast. And so as the day goes on, um, people are you know trying to network with everybody. They're meeting them. Uh, I'm looking around the room. There's all these like there's like 15 to 12 people that um, people are constantly talking to, to a point where they they literally had a line. Um, like waiting to go, like talk to them, right? And I started, I started looking at him, and I go, huh. mm -hmm. I'm looking around. I go, wait, what's what's the what's the common theme between all these people that are they all have podcast? Oh, so if you have a podcast, people are gonna listen, and then they're gonna. They're going, they won't want to talk to you. Okay, okay, I can get behind that. So then, like, I tell Tyler that I'm, like, always thinking about it. And he was like, well, think about it. He's like, why don't you just do it? So, like, as the conference is going on, I'm texting my old uh, bass player when I used to work in the music business who I knew had a podcast production company. I'm texting him names, and then I'm texting my business partner names. And, like, the whole time that we're there, we're, like, I'm throwing out names. And, like, okay, it's got to be around Mindset. It's got to rerun this. We're just throwing back names back and forth. And like, finally we landed on like construction, right? And then what do you do with construction? Okay. You construct your life. Okay. Okay. Boom. So like we came up with a name, we bought the domain. I said, what equipment do you have? This is, he's back in Texas. He said, I got this used equipment. I'm going to use it anymore. I'll sell it to you. And at the same time, my business partner is making like a logo on uh, Canva and so, like, he does it and sends it over. I'm like, oh, my God, it's amazing. Like, I still love my first logo, even though we changed this to sin. I really enjoyed it. Um, so, like, I came home, like, two days later, and we just started recording. And I recorded, like, 10, I think, with, like, my coach and, like, some other people that I knew through real estate. I had a shaved head at the time. It was COVID. Like, it was crazy. By the way, 
I got laid off and separated from my uh, ex-wife all in the same like 10 day stretch. So it was like bananas, right? And so I just recorded it for like a week straight and then we released it like April 6th or something like that. And then uh, when I got laid off, I was just like, okay, well, like, whatever, I'm just going to record. So I just started interviewing, you know, nine to ten people a day, like three days a week. And I did that for like 11 months. And people were like, you know, we do like, you only do like four interviews a month. And I'm like, well, I'm doing like nine a day. And they're like, what? (laughs) So, you know, you're getting referrals, you're doing, but like, I knew... I knew that mentally I was I was getting sober too. So I was trying to lose weight. I was in, in the greatest headspace. I just got separated. I got laid off. I knew that I couldn't handle looking at the downloads. I knew that I that I couldn't do it. So I made a promise to my producer. I said, dude, please don't let me um, look at the downloads um, because I just can't handle it uh, mentally uh, because it's not an easy thing to get started a podcast from scratch. Uh, is not going to get that much traction, right? So there was some guests that I wanted to ask, but I wanted to put in a good 50 to 75 episodes first before I asked them because I wanted them to see the track record of me like doing the thing, right? Um, And then like the 10th episode, I talked about my own personal experiences. And so before this, I had got uh, my first ever episode on anything that I talked about was uh, a radio show, a live radio show that a buddy of mine did in Austin. And I was hammered because I was so nervous. My mom even said she heard the clinking of the glasses because I was drinking whiskey on the radio interview because I was so damn nervous. Uh, And then I did my coach's podcast, um, which was kind of like my first foray of being a guest, which was pretty crazy. So I didn't have that much experience. And, uh, you know, I I never really had a plan. I I just kind of went out and asked questions and was curious and, and, and so on and so on. So, you know, for me, the moment, <laughs> the moment that really did it for me, that was like blew me away. This was like, I remember this like it was yesterday. So there was, mm-hmm, I'd done some episodes. So people, you know, 30 or 40, like people knew that I had a podcast out there and I had some guests and so on and so on. There was a guy in town who listened to the podcast, Lee Ford, and he texted me and he said, hey, you know, at the time we were living in Wimberley, he said, we're here for a Jake and Gino event. Uh, in real estate, do you want to come down? And I was like, man, it's a 45 minute drive in traffic. I don't really want to, but you know, whatever. Every time I say I don't want to, uh, typically something great happens. So I said, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go. There's going to be like 30, 20, 40 people there. So I go and I'm like late. They already like eating dinner and like I walk into this like event. It's like a barbecue place and there's like, you know, 20, 30 people there. And like six people come up to me and they're like, oh man, you got that podcast, right? Construct Your Life. And dude, I'm telling you, that was the first time I've ever, I would ever left my house and like ran into people that listened to the podcast. And I was just... I was just floored. I was like, what? You listen? Oh, my God. Like, wow. And it was like such a um, validation. Not that I needed it, but, man, it like I can't tell you that feeling of like, man, yeah, listen, I would lo- not only that, I'd love to come on. Whoa. Okay. And so that was my first like, wow, right? But the one that blew me away, this was years later, but it was still, (laughs) you think I'm making it up, right? Because it sounds so ridiculous, and I find how ridiculous it is to be ridiculous, just so we're clear. Okay. It's like that ludicrous commercial, right? The only piece of the person that's going to be ludicrous is ludicrous, right? You know what I'm talking about. Stay for it. Um, I was going down to do a podcast for my buddy's podcast in downtown Austin at their studio. So I'm walking down East 6th Street, and I'm walking down the street, and two guys from across the street go, holy shit, this is, I swear to God, holy shit, that's Austin Linney. They ran up to me, and they go, oh, my God, I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan of the podcast. Like, wow, can we get a picture with you? And here I am, like, what is going? <laughs> like, and I'm not. It's not even a big deal. Like, but yeah, you know, we've had some views, but like, it was so humbling 
to see that people enjoyed the podcast, right? To see that they really, um, the hard work, right? A lot of the work they don't see, the the amount of times you record and the, and all that stuff. So like, it's so amazing to have that feedback, right? But there's been so many stories along the way of interviewing people and then having the same people on and, and hearing great messages from people. And, you know, my hope is that this story for you can be, you know, kind of your uh, starting point to just do something. You know, nobody really knows what we're doing when we start off. And so I didn't really know that we'd be 600 episodes in this this later on. And, and uh, you know, we'd have over 100,000 downloads and all these things and get sponsorships and opportunities and business partnerships and everything that it's done for me and clients and friends and I owe most of my last couple of years to the podcast. And there's a lot of days I don't want to record and there's a lot of times that it's a lot of work and you're frustrated and you fall out of love with it and blah, 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 blah. But I always show up because it's given me more than it's taken. And isn't that the case in life? That most of what we do gives us more than it's taken but we only focus on the taken part. My promise to you is that I will continue to push record. I will continue to get great guests. I will continue to put in the time because it's given me more than it's taken. I hope you all enjoyed the story of how the podcast got created. Send it to a friend or share share it with somebody that will get some value. And we'll see you next time. Guys. Let me take a minute to tell you about my buddies over at Lead Hub, Ben and Aaron, the best humans I know. Not only are they amazing at marketing for trade companies, but Ben started his HVAC company in his garage, sold it for multi-million dollars. So when this guy talks, I listen. When we took over Deets Mechanical, we had 22 reviews in 22 years. In seven short months, we went from 22 reviews to 107. We went from a 4.2 to a 4.7. We tripled our Facebook presence and we tripled our calls. If you're an HVAC, plumbing, electric, landscaping company, and you're looking for a no BS approach to marketing, you're looking for people who have done it before, you got to go to leadhub.net.